guys, it's Landon Blake from Redefine Horizons. And in this video, I'm going to show you how I set up a field survey schedule in Microsoft Excel. Uh, we're moving into summer here. It's about the middle of May and the field schedule is starting to pick up. So I'm probably going to have multiple jobs going at one time. And I find keeping a schedule in Excel helps me to keep track of all the jobs and the needs on the jobs as far as the field surveys go so that we don't mess anything up. <clears throat> so I'm going to show you how I set this up. So I have two, two tabs here. I have a current schedule and an archive schedule. What I like to do on the archive schedule is I just keep the hit the past, the past uh, schedule. So you can see I didn't have anything going on last week in the field. So it's just blank. But what I'll do is as, as each week, completes I'll move that week over just so we have a record of who was where that we can quickly refer to all right so this is the week that just completed so I'm going to go ahead and delete these rows because I already have them moved over to the archive so this is the blank schedule just with the date uh, the day of the week and the date and then I'll add weeks as needed. I usually keep this two or three weeks out. It doesn't do much good to book it farther than that because things things change usually by the time two or three, three weeks rolls around. You notice Monday is a holiday for us. It's Memorial Day. Um, so I have that just highlighted in a, in a different color here. So I remember that. I usually put holiday in the common here too. Okay. And then I have uh, Saturdays and Sundays I keep uh, shaded with just a, a light gray fill. We try really hard not to work, guys, on weekends. We do have to do that occasionally, but we try not to. So that's just a visual reminder of me not to put put work on those slots, on those rows. But I do have them in the schedule because in the event that we do have weekend work, I want to see that. <coughs> so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and add a couple of jobs that I have coming up for this week. So uh, we're going out to a job tomorrow in Burlingame. So I'm going to go ahead and add that job number. And uh, we'll be out on that job as well the next day on Thursday, I believe. So it's a two-day job. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to center these so we get a little more space there. Okay. And then we'll plug in the job name. So this is uh, 1409 Rollins Road Site Survey. That's what I'm calling that one. All right. And I actually, I'm going to just add a little bit of padding here can remember how to do that. Uh, just give that a little bit of an indent. There we go. Okay. Then we'll usually uh, usually put the phase on here. Uh, for both these jobs, it's going to be phase one. And uh, I like to put the leading zero in there just because I'm anal retentive. So we'll make that uh, text formatted, and I'll just center that. Okay, the party chief I know is going on this one uh, is RL, and I just use initials there. Okay. I'm not 100% sure who that Rodman is yet, um, but I think it is... Yeah, let me fix that. Uh, I think it's going to be JG. So we'll add him in there. Okay, special equipment needs. So this is just where I make a note. Depending on what they're doing, they may have special equipment needs. So... I'm just going to make a note that they need static GNSS here. They may not 
not every crew has multiple receivers in their trucks. So I'll just make a note that we need that. We'll fix this indent too. Okay. And then uh, in the comments here, I'm just gonna say, uh, confirm side access with Landon Blake because that is a private commercial site so their guys are going to need I need to make sure they can get in so just uh, we're going to add that so I don't forget okay all right now I've got another job that's going to run Thursday Friday you can see I only have one row for Thursday so what I do in those cases so I just add a row for Thursday, okay? And I don't put anything in these two cells, usually. You can if you're gonna do funky sorting, you can do that, but I don't, I don't need to do that. So I have a second job that starts Thursday. And this is uh, 3300 Old Scott Street. 88 paths survey okay same phase number one on this one and this chief is going to be DL I don't know who his chainman is yet and he is going to need a terrestrial laser scanner that's not something we carry in every truck so I'll make a note of that um, I also remembered both of these are jobs are going to need a UAV that as well okay and on this job I'm gonna make a note um, on uh, Thursday uh, MG will be arriving from SoCal at lunch in Manteca so he's coming up to help so just make a note that he'll be there at noon and then MG will uh, be on site to assist with laser scanning. So we're getting some help from one of our party chiefs from Southern California. Okay. So I'll need to plug this chainman in when I get it. Don't have it yet. Okay, now as as of right now, I don't have anything in the books for next week, so I'm gonna go ahead and leave that blank. I don't have anything scheduled for the week after. Okay, so uh, this just gives me a good idea of uh, what I got going on. So I'm gonna go ahead and save that, and then we're gonna print it. So we'll set that up. We're gonna make this uh, 11 by 17 landscape see uh, I still don't quite have enough room there so I'm going to tell it fit uh, all the columns on one page okay and we'll print that and save that and uh, that's how I set up a field schedule in Excel so thanks for watching guys and uh, we'll do some more some more videos soon on project management for land surveyors